And I think Sabbath is one of those practices for me that I honestly never took seriously until mm-hmm. the last couple of years. It was basically just a day off for me, mm-hmm. but there was no intentionality to it. There was no focus to it. Um, can you talk about not just what Sabbath looks like, but why it's important? Um, mm. cause I think even as you're talking about the counter formation, uh, with technology and everything, I think there's something so countercultural to Sabbath that yeah. is vital for our souls. Yeah. I'm pulling up my phone cause I've got a couple of different things here saved just about Sabbath that I think are just so beautiful. You know, the, the two biggest things that come to mind are when you realize God didn't need a break when he introduced the Sabbath, it shows what his purpose was for it. And his rest came right after he created humanity. And so it was from this presence with people that the rest of human history began. And so he didn't like take a break after creating because he was tired. He made sure that the first, you know, thematically of Genesis, you know, and I'm not reading Genesis as historical literature as you and I would view history, but as like thematic Mm -hmm. history of God and creation. But the first 24 hour span with his people that he created, God rested to be present with them. So what that means for us is that we don't operate for rest or toward rest. We operate from rest. So Hmm. the Sabbath is not a place that you sprint to and then crash. It is a thing that you step into, you are filled up from, and then you step into your week with a different level of presence and energy. And that was really big for me um, about why it mattered of like, oh, I am actually going to be more present as a leader more available as a husband and as a father, if I make sure that I am pruning from my life on this day so that I can step into it more fully after that. Because it's, you know, from rest that I lead and serve and minister well, not for it. Um, your question was, why does it matter? Is that right? Yeah, why, why, why is it so important? Yeah. Um, the, other th- the other big thing that comes to mind is Sabbath is a weekly concession that you are not the God of the universe. If you are unwilling to take a day of rest, what evidence is there that you actually don't believe you're in charge of all things? That's the question I'd hold to you. Mm -hmm. And you and I know operating in high level organizations um, and being motivated and inspired by people who are just killing it. You know, the God complex comes online very quickly when you ignore the Sabbath over and over, all the results are about you. They're all indicative of your identity and your purpose and your value. And over time, you eliminate the very thing that God gifted us with to draw us back into mm. the beautiful place of identity. And we put ourselves on the throne of our lives when we ignore the Sabbath. So that's the big thing for me, too, is because there are, I mean, you know, Wade, there's all these moments where you get a quick text or you you get... You know, I don't have notifications on my phone besides text messaging, but I know that there's emails. I know there's something about Sunday. I know, uh, you know, there's there's someone who's hurting that if I just, you know, had my phone on do not disturb, maybe I'd see their missed call. But it's a reminder of, okay, God, I'm trusting you. I'm proving that you are good and trustworthy. So I'm going to do what you've told me to, even when I think it actually might harm my own personal ambition for something. Yeah. And, you know, launching a podcast, some of your good ideas are going to come on the Sabbath. So I've even had to be careful of there's been times where I choose to not write it down because I'm like, God, if this is what you want me to do, I'm going to trust that you're going to bring it to mind tomorrow. Hmm. And sometimes I forget. And that's OK. Yeah. You know, like so, um, a phrase that comes to mind from someone that they, they were mentoring me on something else. But they said, your your sermons may be one percent less good but you'll be 1% better as the person to deliver it because you were faithful to God's word. Oh, wow. I love that. So it's like, so it's like, man, my, my pastoring efficacy might actually go down slightly, but the quality of my shepherding heart has increased because I was true to mm-hmm. the real shepherd. Yeah, that's powerful. And, and, and I think it's, it's, it's so true. It's willing to, to break the idol of productivity in your life and realize, so good. you wow. know, um, and, and to stop believing that you are what you produce and yes. that your identity is rooted in something and someone far deeper and more important that brings you peace. 